What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering and things are getting spooky. You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. If you have supported Johnny Depp and his return to the Pirates of the Caribbean movie franchise and the uh, erasure of any bad press initially put out and then promoted by mainstream media, the New York Times is now basically stalking you calling people at work, looking at and working on what is sure to be a large-scale hit piece against, I'm guessing, the toxic culture around Johnny Depp because they tried to smear him with lies. They promoted uh, his ex's lies. They didn't correct any of their previous statements. Hollywood has not come out and made any of this right. So now they have employed a New York Times reporter to go after uh, people supporting Johnny Depp. Here we go. Gonna get spicy. Now, the change.org petition has been updated to say that reporter from the Times. This was on May 9th. A few days ago, I was contacted by a journalist from the New York Times asking me about the petition. I was dumb and naive, and I responded to her questions. The reporter's name is Rachel Adams. More on that later. In addition to the time, she's written pieces for Variety and other publications that favor uh, people that aren't Johnny Depp, as well as others. I don't know that when I talk, I didn't know that when I talked to her. I thought I was helping to get the petition some attention with a piece in the New York Times. I'm sure that she was counting on that, and sadly, she got it. And look, we've all been there. Uh, there was a time in my life where I talked to. Um, Kotaku and Polygon, hoping that I could provide some context around uh, stories that they were going to write about me. They ignored everything I said and wrote the same hit piece anyway, and then got to use, well, we reached out to Mr. Hambly for content or for context uh, to provide themselves a shield. It was, I got fooled. So it happens to the best of us. She asked me about why I started the petition. I told her that I started the petition because I was sick of the inequity in Hollywood. If a man was accused of half of the things that she was, they would have been sacked on the spot. I 100% agree. And in the fact, in fact, he was. Johnny got canned because of her Washington Post op-ed. She asked me if any famous names had signed. I said that I saw the name Nick Cage scroll by, but I, there's no way of knowing if that was the real Nicolas Cage showing his support for his friend or if somebody was use, using that name. No way to tell. She's asked for a list of people who have signed the petition. Are you kidding me? The New York Times is trying to dox the 400,000 plus people that have signed this petition. Don't worry, kids, she didn't get it. Under no circumstances would I serve you guys up in that way. You're safe with me. She asked if I've talked to Adam Waldman. I told her that I have not. She asked me where I got my information for my updates, and I named several sources, like The Blast. I'm sorry that to say that I also named Brian McPherson on Twitter and Incredibly Average on YouTube. He truly has been the best source for information, the way he scours every source available and reports on it objectively. I stress that several times his objectivity... It's easy to learn, uh, lean in Johnny's favor when all the shady stuff that his ex has done, but Brian sticks to objectivity. That's what makes him such a reliable source. I was an idiot. I chatted away thinking uh, everything was on the up and up, and I hoped they were. But there's a very real possibility that it was just fodder for a hit piece. I'm sure it is. And that she and her team are working to make Johnny Depp and his fans look stupid. And I walked right into it. Watch for her hit piece, folks. Only time will tell the spin she had in mind when she got me on the phone. If she was legitimately interested in the petition, as she seemed, hope she writes a piece that brings some attention. Absolutely unlikely. If, on the other hand, her intentions were duplicitous and I was played for a fool, I can only hope that I'm kindly forgiven by the wonderful folks within the Depp community for being so naive. What I intended was good. Of course. 431,556 people have signed this. And things get spicy. So who is Rachel Adams? She is a reporter for the New York Times that apparently apparently ambulance chases. You can see uh, people were getting stimulus checks to people who were deceased. She, Hi, I'm a reporter with the New York Times. I'd love to speak with you about this. Um, you know, her Twitter is basically a lot of uh, drump, stu drump stuff. Um, you know, uh, Koof Bucks. 
Um, but there is some, like, decent stuff in here. Um, you know, I don't know if she's unbiased, but she retreats stuff like this. Nearly half of men say they do most of homeschooling. 3% of women agree. Ha ha ha. Men, right? So I, I don't think that when you retweet stuff like this, that you're going to have an unbiased take. But here's where things get really spicy. Here is Brian McPherson, who shares a lot of information on Johnny Depp. Uh, and he put out, Rachel Adams, New York, do not attempt to contact me, my wife, or any other family members via telephone or other means. This is no longer borderline harassment. It is. We have already written over DM and I asked you your story angle and you refused to provide it. So, so it was a conversation you chose not to continue, honestly, and in writing. And now the red flags continue. And look at these DMs. This is how these reporters work. I'm aware of several online petitions pertaining to this case. She writes, I see. Thank you for sharing that with me. I also noticed that you and Adam Waldman follow each other on Instagram. This is Johnny's lawyer. Have you ever spoken with him? What is the angle of the story you're writing? Well, I have some questions about some of the social media posts I've seen. You're one of the few people who seems to be connected to Mr. Waldman. So I was curious if you'd ever spoken with him about Depp and his ex. Uh, would really love to chat, even if it's on the background. I don't have to quote you or tell anyone we spoke. Yeah, right. Pro tip, everyone out there. I don't care if you're a YouTuber or if you're a, um, a podcast host or a Twitter personality or you're just a dude or a gal on the street. If a reporter asks to talk to you, first of all, you should just reply with giant dongs. Uh, but, I mean, that's what I do now. Oh, God! <laughs> Only... Only do it in writing. Never, ever, ever on the phone. Don't record it because you don't know if it's a, a two-party consent state and they might be able to block you from releasing that recording. Only over emails, if ever at all. It's my perf personal experience that it's not worth it ever because they're going to write what they want to write with or without you. But that's either here or there. They then continue. Off the record, which applies to all of my communications with you, I ask you for your angle, and you just ask me more questions. I'm happy to communicate with you about this case, which I have been following at a granular level for years, but please do tell me what your story angle is. Please thank you, Brian. Quote, and she continues, I'm still doing reporting, so I'm not sure what I'll eventually write. Bull! Absolute, grade A, 100%, high quality, locally grown, locally inspected, bull poop all right absolute grade a bologna sausage the reporting dictates what the story is ball right now i'm just curious whether mr waldman has a connection to anyone who's been tweeting passionately about this particular dispute okay so it doesn't take a genius to look through this and see that you want to see if he's leaking information if he's controlling this anti-amber narrative aren't you it doesn't take a genius. Oh, God. Oh, these reporters are never very smart. Have you spoken with him about Amber or Johnny? Miss Abrams, the New York Times is writing me, asking me questions about Johnny and Depp, about which I've made 10 videos over a period of approximately 18 months, claiming to have no angle in mind. I don't know why you would expect me to believe that. Maybe you should come back to me when you're ready to tell me what your story angle is, and I will consider engaging you with your storyline once you've decided to tell me. Okay, understood. Well, like I said, right now I'm just trying to find out connections Adam Waldman has, if any, to some of the other people tweeting about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. I'd love to know what kind of relationship you have with him and how you first connected. Here's my cell phone number. Dear Miss Abrams, the more you write me, the more confused I get about what you're trying to accomplish. You claim to be writing a New York Times story about Johnny Depp's lawyer connections with Twitter users? That doesn't sound like a New York Times story at all. I see you have written for both Deadline and Variety. I also see you've written glowingly about Miss Heard's talent agency, WME, its founder, Ari Emanuel, and her ex-boyfriend, Elon Musk. 
There are a lot of red flags popping up on my end suggesting one or all of these people or entities have sent you a story to write anti-Johnny. If you can convince me otherwise and tell me your actual story angle, then I will engage you. Thanks, Brian. She's not going to reply to that. How about Laura B here? Another Justice for Johnny fan. Laura, or Rachel Adams, Abrams, sorry. Do not attempt to contact me again. I didn't appreciate you tracking down my husband's cell phone and calling him at work. First, leaving a voicemail. Then, in your impatience, you texted him. Any public information I've gleaned on JD or AH has been via the public domain. Rare to rare that you get to watch the corruption in action. Miss Abrams, you are writing a story about online protest petitions that has nothing to do with them. Their creators or signatures must be an inconvenient fact for whomever sent you. Why haven't you contacted me? Now this says Adam Waldman. This is the lawyer, apparently. Johnny's lawyer gets involved. One hour ago. Oh, oh, I just realized that. This just happened. I was following this last night. Welcome to the new transparent journalism where you do things right out in the open. What is your story angle and what is your question? <laughs> oh, if this is the real Adam Waldman, I said, I'm starting to think that it is because he's got 1300 followers. And this is the article I found out because I wasn't sure who Adam Ball or who um, Adam Waldman was. And then I figured out, okay, I use this article to figure out that he was in fact the lawyer for Johnny Depp. So it looks like we've got some establishment media uh, going after independent people who signed petitions and attempts to dox them, uh, obtaining people's cell phones numbers and texting them and calling them. This is real journalism, isn't it? Share this video everywhere. I want justice for Johnny Depp and anyone involved in trying to smear the man or try to bury the story or continue to pretend that his ex isn't the one 100% at fault needs to be out in the open for all of us to see. And everyone in the entertainment industry, everyone in Hollywood, everyone working for Disney who continues to not bring back Johnny Depp, all of these people need to see the light of day. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.